I, so, I am a Twitch affiliate. No, I was a Twitch affiliate. And here's why you should not become a Twitch affiliate. First of all, why would you become one? Well, Twitch says you need this many followers, this many minutes watched, and it makes you feel like it's an achievement. When you become an affiliate, you can get subscribers, you can earn money per subscriptions, and that's about it. You get a few more things, but you get to get those subscriptions, those sweet subscriptions, but no, it's a scam. I'll tell you why. One of the number one reasons why you should not become an affiliate is because of the pre-roll ads. Yeah, the ads. See, if you become an affiliate, you can then get ads on your Twitch. You don't make shit off in them. I mean, you barely make anything. You barely make anything at all. But it comes at such a price. You see these ads, they're called pre-roll ads. They appear when someone clicks on your Twitch stream. And when someone views your Twitch stream, they have to sit through an ad first. Well, three out of 10 people who watch these pre-roll ads go, fuck this, I'm watching something else. And you lose literally 30% of the viewers that come to click on your stream. And if you're someone who only gets five people per stream, maybe seven, maybe 10, that is a large amount. But hey, those who went through the ads to watch your stream, they saw the ad, right? And now you're making a bunch of money from this? No, you're not. You're barely making anything off of this and you're losing 30% of your stream. And right now your focus shouldn't be how much money can I make? Your focus should be how many people can I reach? And you're already losing if you're losing 30% of the people who actually decide to click on your stream. Because barely enough people click on your stream to begin with. Now imagine if you only got 70% of those people to actually stick around and watch. That's not good. So so right now you may be thinking, if there are ads on my channel, wouldn't people want to subscribe to me to take the ads off of my channel? Yeah, I guess you could say that Twitch is tricking you to put ads on your stream, lowering the quality of the stream because there's ads on it. So people need to pay money to fix the quality of the stream because it's not like they're paying to make it better than it was before. No, your stream was made worse because there are ads and now your viewers need to pay to not make it better, but to make it as good as it was before. You get what I'm saying, right? You become an affiliate, you get ads on your stream, your stream quality goes down because there's just ads, okay? Now people need to pay to make the quality of the stream back to normal. And let's just say people decide to subscribe to you and let's just say they're not using Twitch Prime. Let's just say they are paying $5 a month to get rid of the ads on your channel and to get some emotes that they can use in someone else's channel or whatever in your channel, okay? Let's say you have five subscribers, okay? Wow, five subscribers, that is crazy. I'm gonna bust out the calculator. That's $25 per month because the subscription is $5. No, it's not. For every subscription you get, Twitch takes half of that away from you. That's why they want people to subscribe to you. You only get half of that. You get $12.50 per month. And let's just say those subscribers stay, right? You only get paid through every $100 interval. And how many weeks is that? That's a lot of weeks. I could do the math right now. That's eight weeks. So every eight weeks, let's say you're streaming five hours per day. You have five subscribers per month. You stream eight hours a day or five hours a day. In eight weeks, you'll get a hundred dollars. That's a lot of hours of streaming slash work to get paid a hundred dollars every eight weeks. Then you could make more, you could make less. A lot of people don't even get that many subscribers when they just stream. Or you can get a PayPal set up and viewers can tip your stream and PayPal only takes two or 3% of what people tip you and you get paid right away. You don't need to wait till you rack up a certain amount of dollar amounts and then you get paid and then it's delayed. No, no, no. It's to your PayPal account. You don't need to become an affiliate to have a PayPal account. So all this money that you're losing from not becoming an affiliate and not getting subscribers, that's not true. If people actually like you and your personality and you're adding value, they'll just tip you through your PayPal links or Patreon or whatever. If you're an affiliate, you might have emotes and you're probably thinking if I don't have emotes, how am I going to get my channel advertised on Twitch? Because your viewers most likely use your emails around Twitch. I stream with Plank from Ed and Eddie. Check me out on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Kradmosh. And I made Plank emotes that people probably, they probably don't use them outside of my channel. Let's say they do, okay? Does that advertising actually work to my channel? 
Probably not. Those emotes don't show my personality, they don't show how I talk, they don't tell you about myself. My videos do on YouTube. You watch those, you, you can learn something about me. You might be able to go, hey, I like this guy. I'll click on the Twitch link down in the description down below. But emotes won't do that. No matter how cool they are, no one's gonna go, wow, I really like that emote. I really wanna watch that streamer who makes those emotes. So what I'm trying to tell you, don't be bothered that you can't have emotes. You can upload them to BTTV or whatever, and you can still have them. You'll be fine, okay? You don't need emotes to have a successful stream. If you're not an affiliate, you don't get bits. Who cares about that? Just use Patreon or PayPal. You don't get channel points anymore. Literally, that doesn't add anything to your stream. It does add some engagement, but who cares? Just be entertaining and you'll be fine. All right, and the number one reason why you should not become an affiliate or just undo your Twitch affiliate is... Well, first of all, you must understand that. Okay, f first of all, you must understand this concept, and this is why this is so important. If you're just streaming on Twitch, you're only doing that. You have a Twitter account. You probably tweet out when you're going live. You're doing it wrong, okay? The best way to get engagement on Twitch is to make discoverable content on YouTube and promote your Twitch on your YouTube. So then your video gets thrown into the YouTube algorithm. It can be about anything exercise tutorials, Star Wars stuff, tech tips, whatever, cooking tutorial, whatever. Things that people actually want to watch, you upload it to YouTube, it gets thrown in the algorithm and then it gets thrown back out. All right, you make something else. It gets thrown in, thrown back out. You make something else over and over and it gets in the algorithm and people watch and they watch your video, they like it, they go to your channel, they watch your other stuff and they noticed they're five videos in and you've said, check out my Twitch channel five times to them and they go, fine, I'll check out the Twitch. They go, they go to your Twitch, they click follow and boom. You also told them when you stream too. So they're like, all right, cool, at 5 p.m., whatever time I'll I'll go okay that's the number one way to promote your twitch channel not by posting on r slash twitch not by tweeting at people not by going to discords full of streamers promoting your stream no one's gonna watch it because that discord is full of streamers not viewers think about it where do viewers go to they go to youtube to view things all right if you put your video on youtube a video about anything that people actually want to watch no highlights i mean Highlights could work on your stream if they're actually entertaining and good, but no whole streams, no highlights. I mean, if the, again, if the highlight is something crazy and saying that people would actually share to other people, fine, you could do that. But make stuff that people are actually searching for, stuff that's going to show up in the recommended feed for people. Because a lot of people, they don't search things anymore. They just appear in the recommended and you just click. Think about yourself. When you go on YouTube, do you search up stuff? You probably do. I do as well. But a lot of my stuff I see in my recommended page. So that being said, let's just say you are uploading discoverable content on Twitch. I mean, on YouTube, right? You're, you're uploading discoverable content onto YouTube. It'd be really beneficial of you to stream on YouTube and Twitch at the same time. This is called restreaming. You use OBS or Restream.io or Streamlabs, and you can stream to your YouTube channel and to your Twitch channel and to like Facebook and everything else all at the same time. Let's just say you, you just do YouTube and you do Twitch. A lot of your Twitch subscribers, I mean, sorry, a lot of the people who go on your YouTube channel, your YouTube subscribers, they'll see that you are live. And some of them probably haven't clicked on the link yet to follow you on Twitch because that's just extra links you have to click, all right? The less links they have to click, the better they can reach you. So let's just say you're streaming on Twitch and YouTube at the same time. Someone types in your YouTube chat, you say, hey, Mike from YouTube said, that I'm really handsome. Hey, dude, thanks. Oh, oh, James from Twitch said that I'm doing great. All right, you just do that, okay? It's it's easy. And you start to realize, oh, I'm doing a lot better on YouTube or, oh, I'm doing a lot better on Twitch. And you focus on that, all right? You're never gonna know if you don't stream on both at the same time. And you're probably, why, am I, why am I bringing this up? Because if you're an affiliate on Twitch, you're not allowed to restream. That's against the rules. They don't want you to restream because Twitch made the affiliate uh, achievements really easy to get to lock people in because they feel like, oh, I've become an affiliate. It's a title. Go to people's Twitter. They'll say Twitch affiliate because they're proud of being an affiliate. Guys, I'm pretty bad at things, all right? And I became a Twitch affiliate. It's not fucking easy. It's not hard to become an affiliate. I don't mean to demean people's work, but becoming an affiliate isn't an achievement. 
I think a real achievement is becoming an authority on a topic, the go-to guy. Look at a channel called Star Wars Theory, okay? If anything happens in Star Wars, he is the go. You go to that channel because he talks about it. That's an achievement, okay? Um, a, a new game comes out, all right? You probably go to like Angry Joe or IG and like those guys are the authorities on that topic, all right? If a new update happens in Risk of Rain 2, you go to Wooly because he is the Risk of Rain guy. I think a real achievement is becoming the go-to guy or girl on a subject, all right? You become that guy. Every topic in the world, there's a YouTuber about it who has at least 100,000 subs who talks about things, all right? I can go to like an Amiibo channel and I bet that well, there's one that exists or a retro gaming or a monitor channel. I bet those exist, all right? You need to find something and become the go-to guy. That's pretty hard to do. A lot of people like me or others just talk about random news and they might not be the go-to guy. There are a lot of streamers, I mean, there are a lot of YouTubers that, ha that talk about Nintendo news. I don't think one is the go-to guy, but a lot of them are they talk about N Nintendo stuff, these Nintendo YouTubers. I think a real achievement is to become an authority type figure in a certain field. That's a real achievement. Getting three viewer or getting five average viewers, 50 followers, and streaming on seven different days is not a real achievement. That's just Twitch tricking you and reeling you in to become an affiliate and not to try out other streaming platforms because they know in the future, other streaming platforms will come out like Mixer. That one failed. But YouTube, it's slowly going up. I mean, YouTube's already won. It's already bigger, it already gets more views. People would just laugh about it because the chat sucks, the UI sucks, it does suck, but that's an update away. Imagine if the YouTube UI was awesome and all your favorite YouTubers said, I'm gonna go stream on, I'm just gonna stream on YouTube because I have a lot more subscribers on YouTube than, do, than I do on Twitch. Maybe Twitch works a lot better for you, but you're not gonna know if you're not restreaming. I've seen the argument saying that if you restream, it dilutes your brand. I don't even know what that exactly means. I think the argument is that it looks bad on your brand if you're streaming on two platforms or three platforms at the same time. But guys, you probably don't have that many people watching your stream. You may have three to five viewers. You probably maybe have 15 to 20. You don't have a brand yet. You don't even know what you're doing yet. You may upload different types of content in the future when you find out, oh, I want to upload that instead. You don't have a brand yet, all right? Sure, it might be true that it dilutes your brand if you stream on two platforms at the same time, but you don't have a brand yet. Don't worry about that, all right? Way down the line, you'll have a brand. But if you're streaming to three to five people, even to 100 people, even to 200 people, you don't even have that big of a brand yet. So don't worry about that. Even if it is true, don't worry about it. And if you're one of the many people who do not upload discoverable content onto YouTube and you just stream on Twitch without any discoverable platforms promoting your Twitch, sure, don't restream. You're doomed from the start. You're not going to get found at all. Don't restream. If you're serious about this, upload discoverable stuff onto YouTube or to anywhere, but YouTube's the best one to advertise your Twitch. And if you're already uploading on YouTube and you have a platform on YouTube, even if it's like 50 subs, but as long as it's growing, sure, restream on YouTube and Twitch. If you're doing this properly, uploading a scribble content on Twitch, guys, this sounds a lot, it's, this sounds easy to do, but it's not. I'm currently doing this and it's, I guess it's working out fine. I mean, I have 125 subscribers. That's actually not that much. You know, I get an average of five views per video, maybe 10, and I bet all those people aren't even subscribers. They just click on a video, click on a video, and link, find mine, and they back out less than halfway in. But I'm, I'm trying to get there. You know, it is, it is a journey. So what I'm trying to say is, do not become an affiliate because you can 2x your results if you restream on Twitch and YouTube, or 3x your results if you stream on Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook. Facebook's growing too, all right? Facebook is growing, people laugh about it, but there are a lot of people on Facebook. Maybe it could be a platform one day. A lot of people laughed at Twitch when it was a little tiny website where people just stream games on it, some obscure thing, but now it's becoming big, all right? F Facebook is already big. YouTube is already big, right? They seen to increase a certain user base in that site to actually grow. So don't become an affiliate. It halts your growth. Three out of 10 people click off because of pre-roll ads. Twitch takes half of your subscriber revenue. Just use a PayPal. Uh, what else? What other closing thoughts? That's it. Like the video, subscribe, check out my Twitch, or subscribe to me on YouTube. I stream on both. I'm at Cradmosh on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, 
SoundCloud, that's not a joke. There's tracks on there. And thank you for watching. And let me know if I missed anything or if you have any thoughts about this topic. See you later.